the Bayford Dolphin. This video is about the truth which happened on the Bayford Dolphin in November the 5th, 1983. Video clip is of Billy Crammond and Diving Bell showing equipment. The Crown family had just got home from a holiday of a lifetime to Disneyland, Florida, when Billy got a call to go to work right away. November 4th, 1983. Men were packed and waiting on helicopter home when Elf asked for another dive before weather got worse. They had already started a flare which was very noisy. Halfway through the dive, the dive was called off due to weather making it too hard to continue the dive. The wind is howling round the Byford Dolphin, waves the size of two-storey buildings crashing into the oil rig. It is a pitch black night in November as the diving bell is raised from the stormy sea. Five men only have a few minutes to live. The bell is clamped onto the SAT system on the rig. Two men have completed a dive to 90 metres of seawater to inspect the condition of a valve. They crawl into the living chamber, which is pressurised, to the same level where they strip down to shower. Behind the door, further inside the system, two further men are resting in their assigned bunks. Everybody is exhausted and frustrated after working three shifts straight, and all the men are looking forward to do is the immediate return to their families. Out on deck, an experienced diver is assigned to surface duty, as he has been for the last 36 hours. Nearly blinded by the rainstorm, he is given the all clear to detach the diving bell from the system. He proceeds to loosen the fastening clap, unaware that the hatches on the inside are still open. All hell breaks loose in a fraction of a second. The four men in the system are killed instantly by the pressure wave created by the opening of the clamp. The diver outside is thrown several metres backwards and is found only after a 30 minute search. He dies shortly after being found. The time is 4am on November the 5th, 1983. The worst diving disaster in recorded history has just taken place. On board the Bayford Dolphin, Everybody is stunned. How could an accident like this happen? And what went so disastrously wrong? It was due to a faulty equipment that was meant to be replaced months, years before the dive. Witnesses in court cases said it could have happened on any dive at any time. Sadly, this took till 2008 to find out the truth when a group of divers called the Pioneer Divers, who contacted all families involved with the accident, thinking it was Billy Crammon's fault that killed himself and four others. Which it wasn't. It was a cover-up. The video statement and newspaper clippings came from the daughter of Billy Crammond. The video was made by Billy Crammond to try and show his children what life was like on an oil rig. It was taken the week of the accident. Thank you to Billy's granddaughter for making this video. Thank you to Billy's grandson for putting it all together. And a big thank you to the Pioneer Divers for bringing this to justice.